Let's face it, it's hard being a parent right now. Not only do you feel the need to provide for your family, but you also feel like you're being called upon to be your child's teacher as well. But the truth is, no one expects parents to be full-time teachers or to be experts in content. All you need to do is provide support and encouragement and expect your child to do their part. Your child may struggle, but that's okay. Becoming independent and responsible takes lots of practice. Let's remember that kids are capable of taking on responsibility as long as we set the expectation that they'll be responsible. Many of them are walking around every day caring for a $500 cell phone. I didn't even know what $500 looked like until I was halfway through high school. The fact is that most of us adults remember some version of being extra responsible when we were kids, whether we had to babysit our younger siblings, mow lawns for extra money, or had to walk two miles uphill in a blizzard just to get to and from school. My own father-in-law had to milk a dozen cows every morning when he was only in elementary school. So when we expect our children to attend to schoolwork on days when they're home from school, we all know deep down that our kids are more than capable of this. So what can you do to help your child be successful, especially on the, those days in which your child has to work independently at home? First off, consider the working environment your child has at home. Where does your child do their schoolwork? Are they sitting on the couch in front of a TV with a cell phone nearby? Or do they have a desk or a kitchen table to work at, away from electronic temptations? Help your child to set up a work area that has as few distractions as possible. Second, consider your child's schedule. Experts recommend keeping kids who are working from home on the same or similar sleeping schedule that they have when they're going to school. By keeping the same schedule for weekdays, it sends the signal that your child is experiencing a workday rather than a weekend. You can also help your child write a schedule for each day and the week as a whole. Having a clear vision of what's expected of your child will help them see that just because they're home doesn't mean they don't have work to do. But when you do create a schedule, be sure to include break times. Setting alarms similar to those they'd encounter at school can be helpful for keeping them on a schedule. Around lunchtime, encourage them to get up, get some fresh air, go for a walk, or ride a bike so they're not sedentary for the entire day. Third, feel free to help your child only as long as your child's doing most of the work. And remind yourself, this is my child's work, not mine. Your child might struggle a bit, but remember that each time they achieve something difficult on their own, they build self-esteem and become more prepared for the real world. Now, for some parents, it can be difficult to know if your child really has all their work done for class. Or maybe you know that your child did every activity, but are concerned that they rushed through their work. What are some suggestions for situations like this? Begin each day asking your child questions such as, what classes or subjects do you have today? How will you spend your time? What resources do you need? And what can I do to help? At the end of the day, you might ask, how far did you get in your learning tasks today? What did you discover? What was hard? What could we do to make tomorrow better? Avoid asking yes or no questions like, did you get all your work done? It makes it easy for the child to reply yes, even if your child didn't get the work done. Consider instead taking about 15 minutes and asking about work in a different way, such as, show me the instructions your teacher sent for math class today, and then, show me the work you did for class today. By asking this, you're pushing your child not just to tell you if they got the work done, but to instead demonstrate that they did the work. This also gives you a chance to quickly glance over the work your child did to see if it matches both the expectations of the teacher as well as your expectations of your own child's effort. By taking a short look at your child's work, even if you don't really understand the assignment they're doing, you have the opportunity to observe whether or not the quality and effort your child put in matches the level of effort you value as a family. If your child rushes through work, you might need to modify how he or she uses time during the day. Your child may rush through work so they can be free and go play. Instead of letting your child go free as soon as they're done with assignments, consider scheduling a block of time to work on learning. During this time, your child must attend to learning. If your child finishes the schoolwork before the learning time is over, then they must read a book, do math activities you find or download from the internet, or research a topic for you and write a summary. By arranging time this way, your child gains no freedom benefit from rushing work quickly and may choose to take more time on their classwork. Or, if your child continues to rush work, you can feel confident that your child's still learning when he has to attend to the extra learning activities you feel are important. Finally, 
While this time at home is most certainly not a vacation, it's important to remember to have some fun with your kids while they are at home. It's rare that you have this much time with your children, so use it as an opportunity to instill your family values concerning education, responsibility, and effort, as well as a way to bond. Experts recommend that families spend time away from screens by organizing family tournaments, playing games, or getting outside for a walk or hike together. For more information on your child's specific needs, please contact your child's teacher.